So what am I doing out here? I come out here just about every other weekend. Sort of clear my mind. I think I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm trying to sort of resurrect a career in art. Find my way. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a YouTube channel. But I've been thinking about that because this little voice, you know, this little voice in my head. It's just something that comes up from time to time. This idea. What would it be about? It's obviously about creativity. It's about art. It's about exploration, discovery, evolution. It's a way to document sort of where I am and where I'm going. I've had a, an opportunity to do a lot of really cool stuff in my career as a designer and creative director. And that's, that's all good. There's something missing and it's not, I don't know, there's just, I think there's something out there, something with more meaning, something that is more authentic at least authentic to me. Um, it's not that I don't enjoy what I do. I love to collaborate. I love working on really cool stuff. I love to uh, see what we can come up with, you know, working with other people. I love the variety. But there's something else. I had this idea since I was in college that I was going to be an artist, make a career in art. And because of fear, mostly in bills, I had to pay off student loans. So I gravitated toward commercial art and design, which is fine, it's great. But in the back of my mind, I was always going to be a painter. And slowly but surely, as I moved up in my career, got better jobs, made more money, I uh, eventually sort of got complacent, you know, and there was a point in time where I was going to work during the day and paint at night on the weekends. At some point, there was a lot of work and not a lot of painting, drawing, or even thinking about art really, except for feeling like a failure because I hadn't done what I really wanted to do. I've been given an opportunity, one that I didn't ask for, but I've been given an opportunity to sort of reevaluate, kind of start over. to take it. I don't know what it's going to become. I think that's part of what interests me in these kind of things is uh, I'm just going to start it and see where it goes. Maybe it goes nowhere, but you never know, right? So I'm just going to start focusing on the things that I like to do, I want to do, I have passion for, things that interest me. I'm also going to listen to people, you, my friends, whoever. I have painted some things, I've drawn and done some art, and you know, I feel like I haven't really figured anything out yet. Hopefully I never will. But I've done enough that you know I've gotten some support. It's been amazing, the, the people that have, oops, almost busted my butt. The people that have supported me and reached out to me and have given me feedback, you know, have, have given me really good feedback. And they've 
I hate to call it a gift because I think we all are creative. I really do. But I do think that we all have a unique perspective and something interesting to say. And so, you know, enough people have said, you know, I like what you're saying. I like what you're doing. So they've encouraged me to keep going with it. And that's what I'm going to do. It feels uncomfortable. Uh, that's okay. You know, it is, uh, change is uncomfortable. Evolution is uncomfortable. Wow, this is beautiful. So I'm out here rambling around physically and mentally trying to articulate what it is I want to do, what I want to start. So I'm going to be documenting my path, the paintings, the drawings, the thoughts, sketches. I'm going to mix in some other things. I don't think I'm going to be following a formula of like to do videos every single day at the same time, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just going to see where it goes. How you doing? Uh, you know, I will try to be consistent. Try to make, at some point, try to make a video, at least a video a week or maybe a few days or something, but just depends on how it goes, I guess. Maybe I won't publish this one until I've uh, got a few in the tank. We'll see. I think it's kind of uh, interesting that I've, I've come to think maybe I'm more comfortable doing my own thing, you know. Maybe I'm uncomfortable in corporate environments. Why is that? A lot of things that happen in those environments, a lot of the work that you do, well, first of all, you're limited. You're limited by your client, what their business is, the budget, and, and the thinking of the people that you, uh, you have to work with. Not necessarily clients, but you're just whoever. Uh, not even, it's not really the thinking, it's just really the roles. I mean, so many layers and so many things that can hold you back. I mean, look, essentially, a lot of places and a lot of people operate from a place of fear and uh, a very conservative, fear-based approach to these things. And it's just not really conducive to creativity. I mean, not to mention, <clears throat> when you layer in money and time, you know, that creates pressure. And look, we've done, I've been lucky to work with some amazing people and some amazing stuff, you know? And, and we've done some really, what I consider pretty cool, creative things but it's all relative. So, you know, art in its essence, you know, like music or anything else really, allows you to really explore and be free. I think it's about freedom. You know, this whole thing is probably about freedom and choices and change. I'm just trying to find out, you know, what I'm capable of. <clears throat> you know, I guess it's about reaching my creative potential, or at least exploring my creative potential. You know, it's about the feeling you get when somebody looks at something that you made 
I'm not even that. It's like it's like looking at something that you made yourself and sort of being surprised about what you're capable of, you know? And that's why I really am drawn to abstract art. I mean, some people don't understand it, and that's fine. I mean, I don't understand it. I can tell you, it's really cool when you start with something that, when you start with nothing, you make something out of nothing, and you really don't even have a plan for what it's gonna be. You know, you just start putting marks on a paper or paint on a canvas. And, uh, and it's tough. I mean, sometimes it's super challenging. It's hard. It's like a metaphor for life in a way. It gets really messy. Sometimes it goes great. Most time it's a struggle. Don't try to predict where you're going. Just do it. And uh, the next thing you know, you have something surprising, something interesting, something different, something you weren't expecting. It gets your blood pumping. You know, it's exciting. Other people connect with it. it stirs something inside of them, you know? It makes them feel good. It makes them feel bad. I don't know. It makes them feel angry. It makes them feel something. And you have a connection. You have a moment. There's a lot of nonsense in this world. You know, there's plenty of people. There's plenty of people that think a certain way. I feel like we need more. We need more creative thinking in general. And, uh, you know, words usually aren't my medium. Although I think that's a very creative thing to do. I mean, writing is super creative, but this is awesome. I don't even know what I was talking about. I just think that there's, you know, writing is not really my forte in words, and definitely not videography or filmography or speaking on camera. But, you know, I do feel comfortable with visual art. And, uh, but the only way or one way that I can share what I'm doing is, is through this, this medium. So that's why I'm doing this. You know, there's plenty of fear, there's plenty of doubt. But there's also hope and excitement. And, uh, you know, kind of a, I don't know, an opportunity. You know, I want to move forward. You know, making a connection with people. Because that's kind of what has led me to this point. You know, it's the one thing that I've done that's really seemed to matter is uh, creating things that make people happy or at least make them think a little bit.